Thank you for joining me in the History of Science collections of the University of Oklahoma Libraries. Let's see a story or two from the vault that may awaken our interest in science in ancient Egyptian culture. The stalks of papyrus plants are 90% water. Once pithed, strips are glued into a cross-worked grid. Although cuneiform tablets from Mesopotamia could be numbered, it was easy to lose separate tablets. Yet with papyrus, the Egyptians could simply glue more strips to extend the cross-worked grid as long as necessary, then roll it up into a scroll. This is a fragment of a religious text dated to around 150 AD, part of the Bob Burke Bible Collection. One of several works on Egypt written by Athanasius Kircher, this book recounts his determined effort to decode hieroglyphic inscriptions. Although not successful, Kircher remained convinced that they concealed divine mysteries of an ancient wisdom. Napoleon's invasion of Egypt provided an opportunity for a breakthrough in deciphering hieroglyphics when French soldiers discovered the Rosetta Stone in 1799. Two years later, when the English defeated Napoleon, the Rosetta Stone and many other Egyptian antiquities went to London under the terms of the Treaty of Alexandria. So the French, who plundered the Egyptians, were in turn plundered by the English. That is why, to view many Egyptian artifacts today, you must go not to Egypt, but to London, Paris, or Berlin. The Rosetta Stone, now in the British Museum, is a fragment of black basalt measuring nearly four feet high by two and a half feet wide, and nearly a foot thick. The inscription is in two languages, Egyptian and Greek. However, three different horizontal bands are each written with a different kind of script. In hieroglyphics at the top, in the simpler demotic script in the middle, and in Greek translation at the bottom. This Greek translation offered the key for deciphering the demotic and hieroglyphic scripts by Thomas Young and Jean-Francois Champollion. This book by Sebastian Saulnier lay at the center of an adventure story combining ancient astronomy, intrigue, thievery, French nationalism, Egyptian archaeology, politics, science, and religion. In 1820, Saulnier commissioned a master stonemason to travel to the ancient Egyptian Temple of Dendera, where a famous ceiling depicted the zodiac. This is the best preserved celestial map from ancient Egypt. The mason removed the ceiling under the nose of Egyptian officials, block by massive block. He smuggled it back to France, restoring French national pride after the loss of the Rosetta Stone. The snatching of the zodiac ceiling, or Dendera affair, was Europe's most sensational archaeological event for that generation. Science is a story. What stories do you want to hear and tell about science in ancient Egypt?